Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy and in this video we're going to show you exactly what you need to do to have your Fat Shark or your Marvel or your Head Place, no matter which goggles you have, um, to have that goggle set onto the same frequency as your VTX or to have your VTX set up on the same frequency as your goggles. It's actually not such a big thing, a lot of guys overcomplicate it and hopefully this video will simplify it for you. Now it is actually really easy to set up your VTX and your FPV um, goggles on the same frequency and a lot of guys do overcomplicate it. Um, the problem though is that most guys when they put their VTX on their frame they put it in such a position that they can't really access the push button on it to be able to change their frequency if they are clashing with a different frequency. So that's usually the problem but if you are following the build along series on this channel then you won't have that problem at all so don't you don't really have to worry about that. Um, but just make sure that you can access this VTX push button to be able to change your frequency. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to power up our quadcopter. So we are powered up right now and that means that we have power going through to our VTX. You'll see that there is a red, a blue and a green little LED. So that is just to show you the green shows that it's working. The red and the blue one just shows you which channel and which frequency you are on. So right now we are on A1 and on screen you will see that A1 is, let me look on my frequency chart here, is 5740. So that means we are now tuned in on 5740. So let me switch on my FPV goggles that I have. Um, it's not goggles, it's just a screen, but it does the same um, function. And it is on 5732 at the moment. Um, if you see, if you look a little bit closer, you might be able to see that it did say 5732. So that means that it is still picking up the signal. Um, it is close enough to be able to pick it up, but it's not the exact, exact right one that we want. So you just need to tune into 5740 on your goggles. And if you don't know how to do that, in the um, video where I talk about setting up either your Fat Sharks, your Head Plays, or your Marvel Visions, um, in that video, I do show you how to change the frequency on your goggles. So 5740 is channel B1 on these um, goggles. So, okay, my ESCs are beeping. Let me just plug them out real quick and then plug them back in again. So we are connected to 5740. So that is what you'll see on there. And this is the camera. I can point this up. That is the camera that we are filming with now, Inception again. But, um, so let me just leave that there. That is how you do that. Now, if you want to change it to a different uh, frequency, then you can just push that button once and it changes the channel. You'll see now we don't pick that channel up. Twice again, another one, then it is now on three. So it's on A3, but let's put it on B3, for example. So B3, okay, I just jumped another one. So now it's uh, still A4. Let's hold it in a little bit longer, then it changes that actual channel. Now it's on B5. So on B5, that is, if I look at my frequency chart, that is B5 is 5885. So on here, I need to look for 5885 if I know what the channel is. Um, if I had the frequency chart for this, I'd be able to know exactly, but I don't, so I'm just gonna scan it, and then I will scan that channel to go it to 5885, and then you will be on the same frequency for both of them, and then you will be good to fly FPV. Now the problem with frequencies though, are that if two guys are on the same frequency, this is a 200 milliwatt VTX, that's just the power output of it. If somebody else flies with one that's a little bit stronger, for example, a 600 milliwatt VTX, then you are probably gonna see his channel and not yours. So the problem is then, if you are flying, if somebody plugs in while you are flying, then you lose video feed. And if you lose video feed, that is extremely bad. You are not gonna see where you're flying and you are probably gonna crash. So that's a big problem with FPV at the moment. Um, Digital does solve that, the new HD um, Connect systems, but those are really expensive at the moment. So we just have to uh, work past these little problems that do arise. So that is very easy to set up your VTX and your FPV camera. If you have any questions on how to do that, let me know in the comment section below, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.